Hello and welcome to the channel Scene with Chips. Um, if you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't, then please consider subscribing and pressing the bell button so that you can see the videos that I'm making throughout the year. Uh, well, this is going to be a short uh, video on, well, if you've watched the last couple, uh, you'll notice that I had the biking bits while changing the rear and front suspension to progressive suspension. And while we had the bike in bits, uh, there's a, pit up, a little piece I want to show you about um, electrical problems. If you have, ever have an electrical problem, there's a, a part on your bike that will shut the whole thing down and you aren't going anywhere if uh, this part fails. So what, I'm, what we're going to do is just have a, have a look at that, uh, that piece. So it might be useful um, if ever anything happens to your bike while you're out on the road. Uh, but just before I go, um, after lockdown, um, I thought, um, even though I'm retired, I thought I might get myself a bit of a part-time job. So um, I got a job as um, a set designer on a stage, um, but they fired me. But I left without making a scene. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm here all week. Okay, let's get on with it. <laughs> While we've got the back wheel and everything off on here, uh, there's something I've been told many times about uh, owning Mahali, is that there's a part that is behind the back wheel that if fails means that you're not going to go anywhere because it'll shut everything down. So just while we've got everything out and we can see, I'd uh, just like you to have a look at what that part is and Jed will tell you exactly what it does and how to re replace it. Okay, so what, now we've got the rear plas plastic splash guard removed. You can see here, uh, I've got the light on it. This is actually the main, we'll show you a brand new one, the main fuse. So if you ever get your bike, uh, and he's going to put this in a little video as well, if you've ever come to your bike and you turn your power on and you know that you've got full voltage, but nothing's happening, it's quite likely that this relay fuse has failed. Or... In actual fact, what's really common is the copper wires snap that's going to it. It's in such an inaccessible place that it's such a common fault. Um, you can't, when we bring them into the shop, what we'll do is squirt from down the side of the oil tank. You can come in from the side and just literally squirt it with oil. Um, again, like the shocks, it's quite a good thing just to lubricate on a regular thing, just to really stop the, the corrosion um, getting in board. It was, it was from um, maybe the 90s through to the early twin cams that they run the system. It's not on anything perhaps uh, 2005 onwards. They stopped it. They took this really out because it was such a common fault. And it, and it is such a big job to get to it. It's a small part, maybe five, five pounds, uh, three or four dollars. And, and, and it's, it's just a nightmare to replace it. And we'll just show you a new one, a brand new one. Uh, so if you look on the bench, this is a brand new one still in the package. Uh, and that's all it is. Uh, if anybody's doing the job and they want to know, there's the part number of it. It goes back to 1977. So they were running this fuse in 1977. Uh, didn't watch that there. You can see on this, it's, there's a two-tone, there's a two-coloured, you've got a copper terminal and a, a, a standard steel uh, terminal. It is does have an orientation, so when you fit it, you must make sure that you put it the right way around. The main power comes to the copper uh, to start with so just be aware of that when you take it out and it's quite common when you take it out this is all corroded away it'll have completely fallen in bits i've seen these on a two or three year old bike and they've been in pieces they've just rotted away completely if you ride it all weather they just rot away completely you know hopefully that helps you gives you a bit of a clue to, to where that electrical fault that you may have is and that's it's a bit of a big job well, a lot of people have told me about this part that uh, that can fail, but I never really actually knew where it was. But now that, because um, normally what happens when my bike is in here, uh, Jed sends me away while he works on it, so I never actually see what's going on. But uh, on this occasion, I've got the opportunity of doing it, so that helps out a lot. As I said, just a short video. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, it's, it's interesting to know where these little pieces are um, if ever your bike stops. So hope you find it useful. Please subscribe and like and uh, 
Hopefully see you back next time. Bye for now.